okay, what? <laughs> oh, in, in all likelihood, the uh, record will And back deep is Chad Barnett at the 10, down to our right. A perfect day for football. A few light, high clouds, but otherwise temperatures up around the 80s. And we are just about set as we await the signal from the official to get the football game underway. The kick will go life, left to right, and it will be Barnett at the 15. Hash mark left side, looking for some blocking. Up to the 25, down the sideline, out of bounds, pushed into the Willamette bench, across the 30 to the 30. Dar Soski is the other tackle. We have also Mark Elliott playing in place of uh, injured Curtis Bonar at left guard. Brian Flatham is the center. Jeff Douglas, the right guard. J.R. Soski taking Aaron Linerud's spot. Out of the shotgun on first down. Weekly back to pass. Has some time. Now rolls away from pressure to the right. Throwing. And it is almost intercepted by Crawford, the linebacker, up at the 40 yard. So it, Jim Shapiro checks in. He comes wide left to the short side of the field. It's trips wide right on second down and long. The snap from the shotgun. Weekly to throw. Has the receiver. This is Stanley reaching back to make the reception up at the 30. Pretty nice catch by Stanley. That target, he caught 10 last week. And out of the shotgun with two backs and receivers left and right with a tight end strong right on third down and five for PLU weekly. Out of the shotgun, steps up, gets some pressure and he's dropped and down he goes back near the 25 yard line. And it was Paul, he is three and out as Abe Fuerte back at his 25 down to our left. Weekly one of the punting leaders in the CFA, which has uh, been over the last two years, a punter's haven. The punt is off. They had the block team coming, couldn't get to it. Line drive will bounce at the 40. Fuerte will let this one go. It'll roll inside 35, down to the 34-yard. Justin Pate. Well, Pate, somebody definitely we're going to hear a lot from today. He's got 22 catches for 219 yards. We've got a Mount Rainier, or uh, the uh, offensive player of the week, and then uh, uh, Pate won the overall Columbia Football Association. So first down and some shifting along the PLU front four as Albert Jackson goes from the left to the right end. Horner is back to pass the quarterback. A senior throws caught up at the 35 yard line and the reception made by the quarterback Horner operating under center with two tight ends now on second and ten. Man in motion coming through the formation of the near side is Heinley. Handoff inside of the back and trying to break to the outside was Jamel Smith. And he is tackled. Albert Jackson is on the end on the left side. Two receivers wide right. Back split offset to the left. The offset eye, man in motion now. Movement along the defensive line. Here comes the flag offside against PLU. Free play for John Horner. He's going to run with a football. Runs into Christensen across the 35 to the 36 yard line. He'll spot a third down and at 11. It will be third down and six. 40 Bearcats moving left to right. And at the linebacker over center. Now he steps off. Man in motion, the tight end comes from left to right. Corner back to pass and a flag. We're going to have procedure call this time coming up against Jamel Smith. Their motion back under center. Josh Arnold was moving, gets back. Here comes the pressure. Albert Jackson trying to chase Horner down, who throws it on the run, has the completion. First down and dropped across the 45 to the 46 yard line. Looks like high rolling left. Six, hash mark left side. Again, no score. First quarter, 11 minutes left. PLU on offense to start the game it was three and out. And now Willamette picks up the first, first down. Man in motion coming to the near side. And here's the handoff. And they try to go over the right side. And they are going to be dropped for a loss of time. Tight end is strong left on second down. Man in motion is Heaton coming through the formation of the near side. Handoff to the up back over the left side. Strings it out. Close to a first down. It'll be about a yard shy as he rips off 10. Great Ep Hosmer in Tacoma. Third and one from the PLU 45. Ball resting between the hashes. Two receivers left and right. The back split offset behind the quarterback. Corner under center. A long snap count moving along the defensive line. Hand out to the deep back. He tries to go over center and he'll be close to a first down backing his way. A, a couple of who's not afraid to take chances, not afraid to go against conventional wisdom. Here they are going fourth and short. Fourth and one. Horner tries to sneak and he'll be awfully close as he reaches out with the hand with the football in it trying to get to the first down. Depends on whether or not the whistle blew before he stuck the football out. Division right now, they're trying to take care of business here in Salem against the Bearcats of Willamette. Horner, the quarterback, has a man in motion coming through the formation. He'll hand off to the man in motion. They fake the reverse, trying to get around the left end. Has six, seven yards on the carry. And then Pate breaks from the huddle, and he will go right. Two back split and offset behind quarterback. Horner, the senior, has his tight end lined up strong. Right back to pass. Horner with time over the middle. Has a receiver. It's cut. Down inside the 20 to the 18 by Heaton. 
Right now, will come wide right with one setback, and the tight end hail is strong right. Order under center on first and 10 from the PLU 17, moving left to right. 7.08 to go here, first quarter. Long snap count, Horner drops, a little roll to the right, looking near sideline, has a receiver open, but he overthrew yard line over his They're split in the pro set behind the quarterback. Horner, the senior signal caller under center on second and 10 from the PLU 17. Now Fuerte in motion through the formation, gets the handoff, tries the right side, stood up, breaks away, still moving forward, gets across the 15 down to the 14 yard line. Excuse me. And six from the PLU 14 yard line, two receivers wide right. Heaton in the slot now in motion toward the formation. Cups up field. Horner back to throw. Throwing to the fullback out of the backfield. At the 10, breaks away and pushed out of bounds at the 9-yard line. Got away from Ted Riddell, which is with Heaton in the slot. Tight end. Hale is strong right. And the two backs are split. And offset to the right side, the fullback, Smith. And the tailback, Marcus Lawrence, behind the quarterback corner with a man in motion toward the formation. Fake to the fullback. Option out to the left to the tailback. Flag is down. He's got the touchdown. Marcus Lawrence. Now to be back with more action. You're listening to Loot Football on 1180. KL senior out of Tyee High School in C and Jared Benedetti for the field goal. This will be a 30-yarder straight away out of the hold of Justin Pate. Benedetti, the senior, awaiting the snap. It is back. It's down. The kick is up. Plenty of leg. And it's good. And so with 5.59 to go in the first quarter, well, you are listening to Loot 3. Well, they went 53 yards in 13 plays. 13 plays in itself is a pretty sustained, methodical drive. And uh, Willamette showing that they can move the ball. Uh, one of those penalties took away a, a touchdown, but they got three points anyway. Now the ensuing kickoff by Benedetti. It's high, and Chad Barnett waits at the 10. Along the near side to the 20. He's got a hole up to the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Wide left to the short side of the field. Moving right to left. One receiver goes wide right and one set back in the backfield. And on the option play, it's weekly. will keep it himself. Chased down from behind by Benyon, who was really antsy. Let's go. Uh, Bladers and Saxon, they definitely will be uh, trouble for Mark today. Trips to the right side. The snap out of the shotgun. Weekly back to drop. Steps up. Hit in the backfield. Gets away. Flag. We're going to have holding call. Pass meanwhile complete to Aaron Tang to the 50 to the 45 in Salem territory. But I think, and it is holding against. Had moved up to the 45 on the catch and run, but instead they are back. Receivers wide left. Shapiro left behind quarterback Mark Weekly, who will be under center on second down and 20. Calling out the signals at the line of scrimmage, now under center. And it's a handoff to Aaron Tank. Big hole up the middle across the 25. Bangs his way out near the 30 yard line. Gets back the penalty, plus two. Is throwing the football. And 10. Shapiro comes wide left, trips to the short side, the right side of the field, out of the shotgun. Weekly back to pass, looking, getting away from pressure, throwing in and out of the hands of Corey Bray. And it would have been well short of a PLU. Fuerte back at his 29, awaiting the kick down to our left. Mark Weekly gets the snap, and it's another line drive kick. Will be bounced at the 45 to the 40, taking a PLU roll inside the 35 down to the 32-yard line, and that's where Trevor White will Lutheran Brotherhood and your local into their formation from the sidelines. John Horner, the senior quarterback, with one setback. Lawrence behind him in the backfield. Two receivers to each side of the formation. Ball resting. Hashmark hit as he throws. The ball is loose. Picked up by the Lutes at the 22-yard line. Albert Jackson popped Horner. Coming clean from the left side. That Albert Jackson comes in almost blindsides Horner. Side. Weekly out of the shotgun with Aaron Tang offset to the right. Trips to the wide side, the right side of the field. Shapiro, Stanley, and Barnett. The snap, it's back. Screen to the right side to Tang. Got blockers in front of him. Has the 20 hit and drop. Great open field tackle by the linebacker who has more yardage. Out of the formation. Shapiro goes right. Weekly under center. On second down and eight from the Willamette. 19-yard line, takes the snap, two-step drop, fires into Corey Beret, makes the catch, spins away from a defender, gets up across the 15, down to the 14, a gain of four on the play, and it'll be up, and a big third down play for the loop. Left, weakly under center on third down, drops back, has some time, looking into the end zone, receiver wide open, Tang couldn't hold on, took a vicious hit from the free safety, Pat Herms, and dropped the football at the goal. Better, and uh, Tang was wide open, just couldn't. Yard line, will Willamette, it. Chad Barnett and Aaron Tang will go wide left. They've brought the fullback in. Tom Barber with double tight ends. Cale Pyland will check in. He's lined up strong left. 
Toss sweep. Here's Weekly on the run. He's got the first down at the 10. He's got the five. Diving for the goal line. Doesn't get it, but he's down inside the five at the two-yard line. It'll be first. Plan play that Mark rolls right as if to throw, faking the pickup. Backs now split and offset to the right with a wing to the left side. Aaron Tang and double tight ends on first down. Weekly himself takes it. Did he get in? No signal yet. Brought to you by Mega Foods. Mega Foods at South 84th and Hosmer. Just the big 12 yard run by Weekly on fourth and three, and then Weekly taking it in from two yards out to get the loots on top. Now the extra point. Jamie Thomas out of the hold of Carl Hoseth. The kick is down. The kick is up. The kick is good. He just snuck it in through the uh, left upright for the extra point. And so PLU, much quarter our score is now PLU 7. 241 left in the first quarter. And now Thomas has it teed up at the 35, down to our right. He approaches the football, and it's a squib kick along the grass, taken by an up back at the 30, spreading across the field to the 35, and dropped at the 37-yard line. In on the style, and once again we will see. And Horner walks up to center with two back that split behind him, and two receivers wide right. The tight end Hale is strong left. Nickelback, Ted Riddell crowding the line of scrimmage. Now he drops off two steps. They fake the inside handoff. War Horner rolling to the right side to throw on the run. Complete to the tight end. Hit immediately and dragged backwards after a gain of about seven. The stop is made by the strong safety for POU. Second down and three from their own 45. Hash mark right side. We have to throw to Justin Pate, mm -hmm. who goes wide left. Heinley comes wide right. The backs are split. Tight end is strong right. On second and short, they need three for the first down. Man in motion, Heinley through the formation. They give it to the fullback. Smith over the right side, tried to pound his way forward, but he stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Scott Larson, he could not get Jack back in. The flanker goes left. The backs are split offset to the right. The tight end is strong left on third down and three for the Bearcats. Now in motion, Heaton toward the formation to the near side. Corner back to pass. Loops one up down the sideline. Wide receiver wide open, and he couldn't bring it in. It was off his fingertips down at the second time he's been called. Penalty. Got the football away. Robert Tucker, the punter, back at the 29-yard line awaiting the snap. Chad Barnett awaits at his 19. The kick is off. Line drive. He'll take it. At the 23, has some room to the outside, trying to get to the corner, has the 30, the 35, tripped up and out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Nice open field tackle. Can get the offense moving. Their first first quarter clock, Aaron Tang comes wide left, two backs, split an offset to the right behind Weekly, and one receiver, Stanley, is wide right, shifting along the defensive line for the Bearcats. Weekly will fake the handoff, fake the pitch, keeping himself, has the 40 to the outside, to the 50, pitches it back, wow. who's trailing back, Chad Barnett still on his feet down to the 40-yard line. They're going to say he stepped out at the 42. And but Weekly ran for up another five or six for Chad Barnett, although Weekly, I think, picked up probably 20 of it. Weekly turned around, had a word for his fullback, Tom Barber. Now he steps under center, has a wing Barnett to the right. He shifts his fullback now into the pro set. And he'll toss sweep to Barber, the fullback, heads up field, has the 40 and slides forward down to the 36-yard line. A gain of five brace now to kill. Pylon will come wide left. Stanley, the tight end, is strong right. Two backs in the backfield. and right, They have it second down and five from the Willamette 37-yard line. Hash mark right side. Barber in motion out of the backfield to the near side. Now reverses direction. They fake the handoff to him. Weekly back to throw down the near sideline. Chad Barnett wide open at the 20, the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, PLU. A seven yard catch and run. And he just put on the Jets and outran the defense for a 37 yard touchdown. And now the extra point by Jamie Thomas out of the hold of Carl Hoseth. The snap, the kick is on its way. The kick is up and good. Again, he sneaks it in the right upright. And PLU with 14 to loot football on 11 -8. field where the Bearcats now trail our Lutes by a score of 14 to three. Chad Barnett hooking up with his quarterback, Mark Weekly, and now the ensuing kickoff by Jamie Thomas from the five yard line. Here they come on the return across the 15, the 20, the 25, the 30, after the 35, spinning up to the 40 yard line. On the return was Allen Hill position at their own 33. Two receivers go wide right, Pate. We have Heaton in the slot, two back split behind quarterback with a tight end strong left. Horner under center on first down, sends a man in motion toward the formation. That's Heaton, and they give it to Lawrence. He tried to go straight up field, hit the pile at the line of scrimmage, and is driven back. 
The two tackles for PLU stuffed the run at the line of now for the Bearcats. One receiver left, two right, and one back. The fullback, Smith, behind the quarterback. The tight end is strong left on second down and long. Back to throw, Horner, straight drop. Steps away, hit, drop the football. It's loose on the ground. They straggle for it, and I believe Willamette recovered. Ted Riddell made the pop on Horner, and the ball fell out of his. It wasn't such a blind side it hit that time. 16 from their own 34-yard line. Hash mark, le uh, left side. Back split out of the offset eye, and receivers left and right. Tight end, strong right on third down and long. Long snap count for Horner. Turns around. Option play to the far side. Pitches it back. Pitch it way out there. It's loose on the ground. Lawrence will fall on it. They'll lose more yardage back to the 30-yard line. That the ball went way back to the 30-yard line, and they lose another four. And that means Robert Tucker will check in. Meanwhile, Chad Barnett down at the 35 to our left awaiting the kick. Looking up into a bright blue sky as he awaits the punt. Snap is back, and the kick is off. The Lutes set up the return. Barnett, fair catch called for at his own 41, and he bobbled it for a moment as his own player was running the two-yard line. Hash mark left side. The tackles, they are Soski on the left side. On the snap, fake the inside handoff. Hand off to the man in motion, Chad Barnett, around the left side, across the 45, up to the 47-yard. 54 remaining first half. Field. Pylan, the tight end is left, and the two backs split an offset to the right. Now Pylan shifting off the line of scrimmage a few yards to the left side. Man in motion is Tang toward the formation on second down. Toss it to the backfield. This is Barnett trying to get a block behind Elliott. Upfield across the midfield stripe. Close to a first down at time leading the play wide to the right side. Become the new CAA, CFA total offense leader. He's got two receivers to the wide side of the left, one to the right. Hand off to the fullback. Barber hit at the line of scrimmage and stopped. And the ball came loose, but the officials blew it dead. Nice defensive play up front. Bond will come wide right. Tang in the slot. Highland, the tight end, is wide left. The two backs are split, along with Weekly in the backfield, working out of the shotgun. Weekly maybe changing it up. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. They throw to the receiver wide open. Kale Pylan makes the catch, trying to stretch forward for the first down. He'll end up about two yards shy across the 40 down. Gray, Gray missing his third game. Kale Pylan out of Vancouver, Washington, getting a chance to play. Two receivers come wide right. Tang is in the slot with Barnett on the pitch. Rolling to the right, weakly on the run, throwing, coming back to make the catch is Barnett across the 30 down to the 28 yard line. They uh, really scored on their next possession and now here they are moving again. You know, Tom, I think that was the uh, play that, that set the record for the Columbia Football Association, getting the nod from Nick Dawson here. So congratulations to Mark Weekly, who is a new CFA total offense uh, career leader. And of course right now he's more concerned with what's going on on the field. Inside handoff to Tang behind the block of Kale Beline. Break to the outside. Has the 15 tripped up as he gets near the 10 yard line. Touchdown saving tackle. Tang did a great job that time of just following Pylan. On hash mark right side. Gavin Stanley comes wide right. Tang to the left. Weakly in the shotgun. Pylan the tight end is strong left. Now Tang in motion through the formation from left to right. Long snap count, Weekly takes the snap, back, throws crossing pattern to Tang. Tang cuts behind a block of his center, Brian Flatham has the 10, the 5, knocked out of bounds at the 4-yard line. Another touchdown saving tack, 8, and he gets up to the full backfield for the loops. 3 with Stanley, the receiver wide right. Fake to Barnett, back to throw, looking for Stanley, wide open, touchdown, P-L-U. And Mega Foods, Mega Foods, corner of the end zone. Now the extra point by Jamie Thomas out of the hold of Carl Hoseth to attempt to extend that lead. Low snap picked up, kick is up, and the kick is good. And with 8.27 to go here in the first half, our score is now. Clars will tee it up at the 35, down to our left. And back deep, Heaton inside. Last week in uh, Southern Oregon in Ashland against the Raiders, PLU spotting the opposition to that early 3-0 lead. Now awaiting the uh, kick by Thomas. He approaches the football and he sends it up high. And this will be Heaton at the seven. Hash mark right side, breaks to the left. Has the 20, spun around inside the 20 at the 16 yard line and drop. Turn team, so now we'll wait for the uh, signal from the official. It's a block, illegal block, illegal for the Coca-Cola displays at Mega. Horner is the quarterback under center on first down. With one receiver wide left is Heaton. And two backs split an offset, hand off to Lawrence, tries the left side, spins away from one defender, but right into the hands of Trevor White, who drags him down back near the five. Bearcat offense. 
but Tom, I know it's tough to put the ball in the rush. Has proven that it is uh, very tough today. And the CFA Offensive Player of the Week, Justin Pate, has not caught the ball yet. He is wide right to the wide side of the field with two receivers left and two backs. Now a man in motion through the formation from left to right as Horner drops back to pass. Here comes pressure from the backside. As he throws, popped it up in the air, caught by a lineman, then dropped. It'll be an incomplete pass. It was Albert Jackson, Kevin Winder, Jason Teal, all converging on the ball. It is an incomplete. He would have got very far, but uh, almost a completion to the center. Kevin Winder also had a chance to catch that one mm -hmm. as it popped into the air, but he couldn't. Ran right by it. So third and 11 for Horner with two receivers right and two backs. Now a man in motion, Heaton through the formation. He gets the handoff, sweeping to the right side. He's dropped back inside the five-yard line by Ted Riddell. Josh Arnold lends a helping. Oh, it's all the way on the other side of the field at the six-yard line. Justin Pate will open the slot to the left or to the right. And two backs are split. Corner is back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Steps away from Albert Jackson. Into the flat. Right side. Throwing down. Field receiver wide open. Out of bounds. Can't catch it up at the 42-yard line. He threw that one too far out to the side. Able to catch the ball. He would have been out of bounds. At the Willamette 46, awaiting the punt. And punting out of the end zone for the Bearcats will be Robert Tucker. He takes the snap. He gets it away. Short kick, fair catch called for by Barnett. No, he didn't call for the fair catch. He is going to return it to the 40. Gets a block around the end. Across the 35, down to the 31-yard line. Aaron Tang will go wide in. Highland left, Stanley right. Option play weekly on the keeper upfield. Big hole to the 20. Cuts back to the near sideline. He's got the 10. One man to beat. He tried to straight arm the defender. He's tackled at the 5-yard line. Play working well for the PLU offense. Weekly will send Aaron Tang wide left to the wide side of the field. Double tight end formation. Pylan left and Stanley right with two backs split and offset to the right behind Weekly under center. Barber the fullback. Barnett is the running back. And now Pylan moves off the line and goes in motion through the formation to the near side. Toss sweep to Barnett looking for a block. Cuts inside the block of Pylan. Gets down back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe forward for a yard to the three of the PLU offense. Lining up as a wing to the left. The backs are split, offset to the right side. Now Weekly wants to shift Barnett from right to left. And he does that, and now we have a whistle. Probably delay a game coming up here against the Lutes. They took too much time, and that is the call in Coca-Cola and your Pacific Boulevard. So it's second and goal from the nine for the Lutes. Hashmark right side, Weekly back, fakes to the fullback. Rolls right, looking. Now he'll spread away, cut from behind, throwing on the run, off the hands of the receiver, knocked into the air. Tight end Stanley. Tang comes wide right. Barber and Barnett are the backs. Stanley is the tight end, and now motion by Tang. They fake the handoff to Barnett. Now they throw back the other way on the screen to Barnett with three blockers in front of him. To the five, trying to get around the corner. Drop at the two-yard line. Good defense that time by the goal from the two for PLU. And Mark before they snap the football here on fourth down. Weekly under center, full house backfield. Double tight end formation left and right. Now Tang out of the backfield in motion to the far side. They fake to Barnett, back to pass, Weekly looking, Stanley, it's almost intercepted at the goal line. The defensive back is kind of raised both arms in the air as if to say. Receivers to the short side, wide right, and the backs are split behind the quarterback, Horner under center with a tight end. Strong left on first down, Heaton in motion, back to pass, Horner into his end zone, throwing. It is caught across the 10, out to the 12, close to a first down, and that is Justin Pate's first catch. Breathing room out to about the 11 or 12 yard. Four minutes remaining here in the first half from their own 12. Hash mark right side, receiver wide right, backs are split, double tight end. Fake the inside handoff, option play back to the fullback Smith at the 10. He gets sandwiched down. Good job of tackling in the, the line of scrimmage. So it'll be second down and 10. Heaton is wide right, backs are split, tight end strong left. Now he drops off the line of scrimmage and he will go in motion through the formation from left to right. Back to pass Horner, straight back, getting pressure, throws, caught by the tight end, across the 20, the 25, and tripped up near the 27-yard line. Benedict and Ruby along with Freeze. And so the five moving right to left. Allen Heinley checks in, goes wide left. One receiver right, two backs, and Horner under center on first down. Here comes the PLU defense. Horner was trying to throw to his back out of the backfield. He was covered, throws to his tight end instead, makes the catch, gets up across the 35, up near the 37 and near a first down. 
The linebacker for PLU did a great job. He saw Brought it in and in short. It was Trevor White who almost got a hand in there to knock the football loose. Instead, it's a completed pass. Man in motion through the formation left to right on first down. Horner back to pass. Heads up field, throwing on the run up to midfield. It's caught. And this is Pate again, his second catch of the afternoon, up to the 49-yard line of Willamette. Pressure stepping up in the pocket and finding his receiver open. You minus one yard, or uh, Willamette minus one yard rushing, 97 through the air. So they found their niche, and it's definitely not on the ground. Trips wide right, Horner back to pass, looking, and he finds Heaton wide open, and he's ridden out of bounds by Brad Christian. Needs six for the first linebacker. He will line up as a linebacker wide left defensively. Ted Riddell, the linebacker, is the end on the right side. On second down and six, man in motion. Kindly through the formation, gets the handoff. It's a reverse. And this one back to Heaton, throwing on the run out of the backfield, and it's caught oh at the 30 by Pate. He took it away from the defender, steps around another defender. He's going to score the five touchdown. And the PLU defender made the mistake of waiting for the long, long time for that play to develop. Found Pate down there. Pate did a little jitterbug move on, I think it was Van Slichtenhorst, and went about 25 on his own. After the catch, nice play for the Bearcats. Extra point now by Benedetti. Snap is over the head of the snapper, rolling back at the 24-yard uh, line, and Benedetti will fall on it there. So the missing two, loot football on 1180. The football, and then out juked a couple of defenders on his way down the far sideline for the score. And PLU will get the football back with a minute 17 to go before intermission. Nice little drive, too, 98 yards in seven plays. Remember... Sit six of those through the air, so they are almost exclusively going through the air now, the Bearcats. Remember, PLU went for it on fourth and two from the two-yard line and did not get it into the end zone and turned it over on downs. Here's Chad Barnett on the kick at the 15, looking for some blocking to the 20, the 25 on the far sideline up to about the 20 mark left side, moving left to right. 12 at Pacific, the heartbeat of America is in Parkland. Two receivers will go wide left to the short side of the field. Gavin Stanley comes right. Now Barnett in motion toward the formation. Cuts up field at the snap of the football. Weakly hit, trying to get away from Pesher, and he is dropped in the backfield. A sack, the second of the game, back inside the 20 to the 19-yard line. Oh, he's put up some pretty good numbers, but uh, effectiveness on that play. From the snap, quickly to the line of scrimmage over the middle, throwing down the field, incomplete. Shapiro was sliding, trying to reach back for it. It was off with, with a makeshift offensive line with injuries now to Aaron Linerud and Curtis Bonar. Snap back to Weekly out of the shotgun. Back at his five. Pressure by Leiden. Rolling to the near sideline. Looking on the run to throw downfield over the middle. He's got Shapiro. Reaches up. Knocked away at the last minute by the corner, Chris Frazier. And it's fourth and 19 for PLU from their own. Shapiro. Huerte is back at his 42, awaiting the punt from Mark Weekly, who's inside his five. Trevor White, the deep snapper for the Lutes. Gets it back to Weekly. Gets the punt off. Nice high kick. And Fuerte comes up at his own 45 to the 50, knocked out of bounds. Just across the midfield, left, one right, and two backs split behind Horner, the quarterback on first down. Back to drop the pass. Here comes the pressure over the middle. Leaping grab, it's deflected into the hands for Pate to the other receiver inside the 25 to the 24. Uh, he's get 20. 12 seconds left here in the first half. PLU up 21-9, but Willamette has the football at the loot 24-yard line. Hash mark right side. Two receivers right, one left, and two backs behind the horn, horn of the quarterback. Long snap count on first down. He'll drop straight back. Here comes the pressure hit as he throws, looking into the end zone. Receiver falls. Flag comes down. Interference against the Lutes. John Hamill, the corner, trying to cover. As we see the indication now. From Seven seconds left. The ball heating in the slot. In fact, there'll be trips to the left side as Heinley will join them. And the top in the offense through the air so far this season. They have three receivers left. Pate, Heaton, and Heinley. One setback behind the quarterback. And Horner with a tight end, strong right, under center. Dropping back, two-step drop, looking into the end zone. Throws, high, caught, and drop, brought in for the touchdown. Jeff Heaton brings it in. He went up high and pulled it down with three seconds. And get it to the... Uh to the 17 point mark. Heaton, Pate, and Heinley will all come again wide left. They'll have two backs and now timeout called for by Horner. Midfield and they end up getting 26 on a pass play. Uh, the penalty brought it down to the eight yard line and then Heaton with a great catch. Uh, a picker upper certainly for the, uh, for the Bearcats. Here we go, the two point conversion. Again, two receivers left, two backs and double tight in. Horner fakes the handoff, rolling right. 
Still on the run, throwing back of the end zone, caught, two points good. And that is Bronson Lazarus, the defender, and Horner put him and await the kick. And the Willamette fans down below us have something to cheer about. Their team trailing only by four with three seconds left in the first half. POU, after surrendering the first points of the game, a field goal, had led 21 to three. Now Willamette has answered back with two touchdowns. Up back, J.D. Seidel takes it on the squib kick, gets it up to the 33, and that is it. And that is the end of the platoon. The Parkland Chevrolet Geo Halftime Report is next. At center score, Central Washington leading Linfield 14 to seven. And we'll keep an eye on that game. Right now though, the Lutes kicking off. Right to left, Jamie Thomas approaches the football at the 35, sends it high and deep. And this will be Williams at the one. Across the 10 to the 15 to the 20, runs head on into Ted Riddell at the 18 yard line and drop back. They'll spot it at the 19 yard line. Er, as the Bear left side, Horner has the team up to the line of scrimmage. Two backs are split, receivers wide left and right on first down. Now man in motion through the formation from right to left. They hand off to the tailback, tries the left side, gets up to the 20 yard line, upended by Ted Riddell. Pate is wide left of the short side of the field. Two backs are split. Man in motion, the tight end from left to right. Horner back to pass. Getting pressure from Teal. Throws as he hit. It is short hopped. So that means the tight end is strong right as well. Horner back to pass. Rolling to the near side. On the run. Throwing. Flag down. The ball is caught by Heaton. He went up and over the defensive back for PLU. A nice catch though by Heaton. He just went up over the defender that time. The nine yard line and it will be Third come right, Heaton in the slot, backs are split, tied in. Not in the game on this play. Two-step drop, hit from behind by Riddell and dropped at the one-yard line. Horner did not see Riddell coming. And that is third line. Robert Tucker will await the snap from center. Here comes the rush, he gets the kick off. And Chad Barnett will chase this one down. It's rolling past him all the way up to midfield, takes it on a bounce at the 48-yard line, heads up field to the 40. And across the 35, down to the 33-yard line of Willamette. Went the other way, 98-yard quarter. One setback, Aaron Tang offset to the left, trips to the wide side, the left side. Hand off, this is to Tang, has the 30 over the right side, the 25, the 20, and ankle tackled as he was making it. Nolan, the corner, made the stop, grabbed him on its initial drive of the third quarter. Three receivers will come wide left. And they fake the handoff inside to Barnett. Weekly rolling to the near side. Has some time throwing back of the end zone. Looking for Tang off the helmet of the defender. Incomplete. And that is dangerously cool. And uh, I believe saw the receiver put his hands up. And reflection, the reaction from the coaches across the way on the POU sideline. Two receivers, one left, one right. Weekly out of the shotgun with a tight end strong right and two backs behind him. Inside handoff. This is to Barnett. Hit at the 15. Lost. I well, didn't lose the ball. He fell down and got a crop. Ball resting hash. Tang and Barnett will go wide right. Tang in the slot. Barber, the fullback, remains in the backfield. Weekly takes the snap out of the shotgun. Rolls right. Looking. Now he's going to take off and run. Sliding forward, trying to dive for that first down marker. Let's see where they say his knee to pick up the first down at the 11. They'll put the ball down at the hash mark right side. It'll be at one point in the first half. And Willamette scored two unanswered touchdowns. Now, Weekly trying to lead the offense down to answer back. He'll keep it himself, option play, keeps it. And he's down to the five, inside the five to the three as he takes Nolan forward. And it'll be second and uh, about three. And Weekly picked up only about seven yards. From the two yard line, hash mark left side, second down and two for the Lutes. Tane comes left to the short side, Barnett goes wide right. Double tight end, Barber the lone setback. Quarterback keeper weakly trying to push the pile forward. We see a flag come in as the snap against the Lutes. When you don't call the name, hash mark left side. And it's second down and six. Fake to the fullback, weakly on the option. Keeps it himself, cuts it at the five. Touchdown, PLU. 84th and Hosmer just off by five. Open 24 hours. It's on top by 10 with the extra point up and coming from Jamie Thomas out of the hold of Carl Hoseth. Thomas has been sneaking him in so far here this afternoon. This one is up on the way. This one is up and good. This one right down the middle. And with 11.03 to go in the Y Lakewood, Tacoma. Out of their end zone, and then they took over and went in for the end zone and went in for the score from 33 yards out. Five down to our right.
Two return men back inside the five down to our left. And the kick is short, taken by an up back at the 24 to the 30 to the 32 and knocked down there. Marcus Gibbons, Jace D. Son Horner in the offense. Horner under center with two backs split and offset to the right. One receiver wide left and double tight ends on first down. Moving left to right here in the third quarter. The Bearcats have a man in motion through the formation. He gets the handoff fumble, the football, it's loose. Albert Jackson knocked him out of the way, it's loose, and it's picked up by the Lutes. Albert Jackson with a big play for knocked him out of the way, and he knocked. So the Lutz will have it first and 10 from the 26 yard line. Hash mark left side in Bearcat territory, leading 28 to 17. Last time they picked up a turnover this deep, they turned it into their first seven of the ball game. Out of the shotgun, inside handoff to Shapiro, trying to sweep to the right side, and Leiden's got him back at the 34. Justin Leiden fought off the bringing down the 5'10", 190-pound senior, Jim Shapiro, and make it 13 for POU at the 33. Weekly has Aaron Tang wide left, double tight end, the backs are split, offset to the right, and they give it to the fullback. Barber straight up field, big hole, down to the 10, inside the 10 to the eight yard line, and a first and goal for PLU. Up the big yardage inside the 10 to the eight mark left side. Shapiro goes wide right, Tang and Barber split offset behind the quarterback, fake to the fullback, Keeper by the quarterback, option play, going to keep it himself. Does not get in, apparently. He's down inside the one at the half foot yard. So it will be second down and goal just inside the one yard line, respectively on second and goal. Let's watch for Wakeley. He's been doing the quarterback keeper. He does it again. Touchdown, PLU. Seen all season long, I think it's. And if he's successful, PLU will extend their lead to 35 to 17 with two quick touchdowns here in the third quarter. One of those thanks to a turnover, and for that matter, both of these touchdowns can be credited to the defense. They made him punt out of the end zone the first time, recovered the fumble the second time. The extra point is up and good. I'm at 17. You're listening to Loop Football on 11. Tom Boarding, Mike Larson back with you from Akula Field on the campus of Willamette University in Salem. PLU back on top, 35-17. Here's the kick. A line drive short kick taken by an up back, fumbles it to 24, picks it up on the bounce to the 30, 35 and dropped there by DJ Seidel for the look across the way from us. First down for the Bearcats from their own 35, two backs split, two receivers wide left, tight end strong right, and POU's defense has risen to the occasion the last two drives. It's baked the inside handoff, Warner back to pass, throwing far sideline and is caught in double coverage, brought down near the first down marker. Trevor just across, 8.51 to go third quarter. Horner with his team up to the line of scrimmage. Backs are split, offset eye to the left, two receivers. Wide left to the short side of the field. Tight end is strong right. Long snap count movement by Pate. He went up. Procedure is the official call. So it will left side. Pate will go wide on one setback. Williams behind the quarterback, two receivers. Come wide right to the wide side of the field. Horner. Back to pass, throwing over the middle. He's got his tight end, caught up to the midfield stripe into PLU territory and dropped at the PLU 48. We may get a face mask on top of uh, Is as if it is against them. Now the official comes over. Face mask against the Lutes. Lutes moves it up to the back from those two quick PLU touchdowns here in the third quarter. Sent two receivers wide right. Pate and Heaton to two backs, split an offset to the right. Lazarus is tight end. They fake to the tailback, throwing near sideline, looking for Heaton, and it's thrown into the bench down below up. Substitutions, come on running back. We have two receivers left and right. No tight end on the field. Option play. The quarterback corner will keep it across the 40 up to the 35 to the 34 yard line and about a yard shy of the first down. Right. Lazarus is a tight end strong left. Double tight end formation actually now with two backs. Offset to the left, handoff to the tailback and he has the first down diving over the left side. That's J5-17. Two POU has come back now with two of their own. And now the Bearcats are on the move. Two receivers, one left, one right. Tight end is strong left. The back's offset eye to the right. Back to throw is Horner. Has some time. Throwing down the near sideline into double coverage, and it is knocked away at the last second. Two defenders there for top highway five. Money is on budget. Trips to the wide side, the right side of the field. Now a man in motion, Heinle, in a flag fly. It is procedure against Willamette. That Willamette. PLU defensively, Ted Riddell. Also in there as an end now. One linebacker, Benedict, and an extra defensive back for the Lutes. 
On second down, quarterback keeper, and he's buried back outside the 40 by Jackson, by Arnold, and for good measure, down below, Jason Teal. On him in a heartbeat. Marcus Lawrence was the pitch man. You know, was in a good position. Heaton comes wide right. Tight end, Lazarus strong right, and the back's offset to the left side. In the eye, Horner with a long snap count. Lutz fake the blitz. Horner back to pass, steps up in the pocket, throwing down the middle of the field. He has Heaton wide open inside the five. It's over his head, incomplete into the end zone. He had gotten a step. Yeah, I think they... And so they will punt the football away. Robert Tucker at his own uh, at the PO, at his own 45, awaiting the snap. It's back, and Ted Riddell awaiting it. It's off the side of his foot. He shanked this one a little, trying to get into the corner. Takes a good Willamette bounce back the other way inside the five and down at the one yard line. Now look for all the work. Exactly the right. Their own goal line. First and ten at the one, moving right to left. Hash mark right side. Weekly on the option, going to be back to pass, looking for Shapiro downfield, and he can't come up with it. Great defense, stride for stride with him. Down the end zone, and through Dan. Chad Barnett is back in the ball game. He's wide right. The backs are split and offset to the left behind Weekly Under center with two tight ends. Now Barnett through the formation from right to left. Hand off to the fullback, Tom Barber across the 10 to the 15. Fumble the football, it's loose, and recovered by Willamette at the 20-yard line. And I think it was Mark Nolan. Deep in uh, PLU territory. Hindley, come wide right. Hindley in the slot. Williams is the, Lawrence is the lone setback. And the tight end is strong right. On first down, Horner back to pass. Feeling some pressure over the middle. He throws, caught. Touchdown, Willamette. Caught at the goal line. He took a hit but held on. That is Hindley in for the score. They will walk him off the field. He did. He will stay on the sideline. Two receivers wide right. Two backs split. Offset eye to the left, tight end, strong left, Horner, the quarterback, fakes the handoff, rolls, pitches to the trailing back, Iscariot to the 10-5, that's it. Dropped, bottom up empty on the two-point conversion, and with 5.03 left in the... There's 20 seconds, of course, one play doesn't take a, a very long time to, uh, to run, but 20 yards, Horner to Heinley. Benedetti's kick high, and this will be Barnett at the five. Looking for a wall of blockers to the 10, 15, 20. Wrapped up at the 20, trying to fight his way free, but he's knocked down at the 22-yard line, and that is where he's in the CFA. The 22 hash mark right side. Trips come wide left on the play. Barnett, the lone setback, offset to the left behind Weekly under center. On first down for the Lutz, moving right to left. Weekly takes the snap. Quick hitter looking for his fullback, Tom Barber. Passing attack, uh, I wouldn't say is out of sync, but certainly hasn't uh, put up the numbers that they did early in the first half. Three receivers wide left out of the shotgun. Weekly back to pass, getting pressure. Set up the screen to the right side. It's dropped by Aaron Tang. Go through his hands. Come wide left. We have double tight ends left and right. Shapiro is the lone setback along with Weekly. Out of the shotgun. Takes the snap. Rolls to his left. Looking for Aaron Tang. Coming back. Makes the catch. Sliding across the 35. No, they say incomplete. Would have been a first down. But the calling the incompletion with four foot. inbounds when he caught it, so it either... Must have hit the ground or he bobbled it. Weekly back at his 10, awaiting the snap as he punts it away. Fuerte back at his 38. Here's the kick. They were coming with a rush. They didn't get to him. Fuerte coming up on it. Bounces, comes back the other way. The loot's quickly on it at the 50-yard line. Hit it about the 45 and went backwards. And the offense, again, gets the instructions along. Tight end is strong left. Two backs are split. Offset to the left side. Horner is back to passer. Comes the pressure up the middle. This one's incomplete. Trying to get it to the fullback. Harmlessly incomplete. Will go wide left. Heinley in the slot. Deloney comes wide right. Two backs split behind the quarterback corner. No tight end on second down and 10. Long snap count for Horner. He'll hand off to the back. And he's hit and dropped at the line of scrimmage. Bounced off initially one tackler. But the second man. And the lone setback is Lawrence. Horner back to pass. Setting up, throwing over the middle for his tight end. It's caught. That's Heinley across the middle. He makes the catch. A first down, down to the PLU, 36 yards. 15 yards. On first and 10 from the PLU, 36. Hash mark right side. Two receivers right, two left, and one setback. Again, no tight end. For Willamette, man in motion, Heaton through the formation. He gets the handoff, sweeping the left side, trying to break around the corner, cuts back, hit, fumble the football, PLU recovers. And it was Josh Arnold, I believe, who popped him and knocked the ball loose and recovered. Okay, but uh, certainly the ball back. And the Lutz quickly up to the line of scrimmage on first down, handoff. Not weakly, keeps it himself, and he's wrapped up by the linebacker trying 
to get around the left side. He is in there now for the Lutes, the big 6-6 defense to talk about, but there have been some hitting going on. At least two or three players have walked off the field with some dings, none the least of which was Mark Weekly. Late in the second quarter, apparently, he got dinged up. Here's the handoff to Barnett, sweeping the left side, hurdles a down lineman at the 40 and gets up to the 40 linebacker. Run some time off the clock and establish a passing game. Third and long, Peely's got to pass it now, though. Out of the shotgun. Weekly back to pass over the middle. Completes to his tight end, Stanley, for the first down up at the midfield stripe. That's a name we haven't called in the win over Southern Oregon. Cale Pylon will come wide left. Two backs are split. Stanley is the tight end on the right side, and one receiver wide right. Toss sweep to the right side to Burnett with Aaron Linerud leading the way. He's got the 45, the 40, the 35, the 30, tripped up and out of bounds at the 27-yard line. That is why it and it's are split and offset to the right. Behind the quarterback, weakly under center. Tight end, Pylan strong left. Man in motion through the formation is Tang. Handoff, inside reverse from Barnett to Tang. Tang to the 25, the 20, spun down inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line. Close to another first down for the Lutes. And once again, they put on second and one with a plate of waste. Will work out of the shotgun with receivers left and right. He's back to pass, rolling to the near side, looking. Going to tuck it under, still looking, getting away from pressure, rolling to the right side now. Now he sets up, coming back the other way. Now he's going to take off and run and pick up the first down at the 15-yard line and a flag late. And now holding against the Lutes. And that's some back. And so it's second down, actually second and 11 as they lose 10 on the, the hold penalty. Ball resting hash mark right side. Back to pass, no wraparound draw to Barber. The fullback has the 20, cuts back inside at the 15, and dropped there in a first down for PLU. <laughs> Haven't seen country buffet. On first and 10 from the Willamette, 15-yard line. Weekly will send two receivers left. The tight end is strong right, and the backs are split and offset to the left behind the quarterback. Now he shifts his tight end. Barber will be a yard closer to the line of scrimmage on the option play to the right side. Weekly won't pitch back. He's grabbed around the helmet. Don't see a flag, and he's dropped back at the 20-yard line. And that is the end of the third. Split behind the quarterback weekly. Double tight ends, left and right on the play. Shifting along the defensive line. Now Tang comes in motion, left to right. Weekly back to pass. Fakes. Now he throws in the corner of the end zone. Wide open. Touchdown. P-L-U. Seth, it's 41-23 now for PLU, looking for their 42nd point of the afternoon. Jamie Thomas is late, getting a workout here in the Sun of Salem. Snap, kick on the way, the kick is up, and the kick is good. And with 14.55 to go in the fourth, our score now, Pacific Football on 1180 KLAY. The five for the Bearcats, down to our right. As he awaits the signal from the official, now he approaches the football. And he sends this one, a line drive taken by an up back, bounced off his hands at the 25, lost it again, and hit his own man and knocked down up across the 25 at the 73, down by 19. Or I should say down by 18. Two receivers wide right, one comes left, corner back to pass, steps up, throws, caught by Heaton, immediately knocked out of bounds by most of the way here, left side of the field and one setback. Behind the quarterback, Horner under center. Long snap count, drops back. Hit as he throws by Mihilik and throws this one into the bench, over the bench. Smith and Scariot are the back split behind the quarterback. And he fumbled the football, the snap is loose and it's recovered by Willamette, I believe, either the quarterback 32 to our left at the PLU 32 awaits the football. And here comes the pressure up the middle. They get the kick off, Barnett. Coming up on it, calling for the fair catch, makes the catch up at the 43-yard line, left in regulation. Ball on the ground. Aaron Ting comes wide left, and Pylan goes wide left. The backs shift, they're split and offset, and Tearing Tang was moving as they pitch it back to Barnett. Barnett looking for a block from Tang, got the block, goes out of bounds into the bench, shoved all the way under the table. It'll cost PLU five yards, that'll put him back inside the 40, back. Of course, that was a big uh, show to move away from the football, and. We're back to action here with the Lutes facing first and long. Weekly marking out the signals. Now underneath center, Brian Flatham takes the snap. Wraparound draw to the fullback. Tom Barber to the 40. Stood up across the 40 up to the 43. To do that is with the ground game, although faced with second down and 10. Weekly 
Toss sweep left side to Shapiro, looking for a block, steps up, and may have the first down as he dives across the 50. Have come up about half a yard. Double tight end formation with a wing to the right side and two backs. Weekly under center. Third and short. Long snap count. He's going to drop back. Now he hands off to Barber, the fullback, who pushes forward to the 45. Has the first down over the left, Sarl Hoset. Again, double tight end formation left and right with Shapiro, the wing to the right side, and the two backs split and offset behind Weekly under center on first and 10 for the Lutes. He takes the snap, hand off to Barnett over the right side, and he gets forward for two. It'll bring a three-yard line of Willamette. Clock can double tight end left and right, and the wing to the right side, Shapiro. Option on the sweep, the pitch it to Barnett. Barnett breaking to the outside, cuts inside the cornerback and gets up to the 40. So he pick up another three snap, the foot and two receivers left and weakly out of the shotgun. Takes the snap, rolls to his left. Has some time, now he throws to Barnett. Intercepted by Nolan at the 30, up the sideline and stopped and knocked out of bounds as a flag comes down. And Nolan stepped in front of the intended receiver, made the pick, Mark Weekly made the tackle. And I'm not holding against PLU. Oh, they're going to pick up the flag and wave it off. So no, they wave off the mark right side with 10.46 left. They trail 42-23. Two receivers wide right on first down. Horner, the senior quarterback with the back split. The tight end is strong left. Man in motion coming through the formation. Heaton, they give the handoff to the tailback upfield across the 45 up near the 49 as he rips off a sideline. Horner, wide left. The backs will be split offset to the right side. Tight end is strong left on second down and two. Man in motion, Heinle toward the formation, left to right. Fake the handoff, Horner rolls to the right, looking for his tight end, he throws complete, has the first down, rolled out of bounds, into the Willamette bench up at the 42, come wide left, long right, the backs are split offset right behind Horner. On first and 10 from the PLU, 42 yard line. Horner sends a man in motion, Heaton through the formation. The Lutes were offside, Horner with a free play, throwing deep downfield over everybody. He's had about 10, 15 yards, right side, offside. So receivers right, one left, and the backs are split. No tight end for Horner. The, the quarterback steps back, getting pressure, throws, complete to Heine, and he's hit behind the line of scrimmage at the 40-yard line. And the play will lose. Th there was the penalty on first down. So second and eight, receivers left and right. Pate comes wide left. Backs are split, tight end is strong right. Now Heaton comes in motion to the near side from right to left, corner back to pass, pressure up the middle, throwing, and it is incomplete. Through behind Pate, the I think it was more. And John Ruby are now back in the ball game at the linebacker spots. Marcus Givens at the corner to the right side, two receivers right, Horner back to pass, has time, throws over the middle, it is caught by Pate in traffic up at the PLU 25, hit by Christensen, and Kiko now looks like he's uh, seeing an onside kick if they do score. They right now have it first and 10. Horner on the option play, pitches it back to his trailing back at the 30, and he's dragged down by Kevin Winder in the backfield at the 27-yard line. Out as does Keith Fulfs. Jackson and Riddell are the ends, Arnold and Teal the tackles. On second down and 12, Horner has receivers two left, one right, now a man in motion left to right. They give the handoff inside to the 20, break into the outside, the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown, Willamette. James Scariot, the junior, takes it around the left side and outruns the defensive second. Comes at the 7.33 mark of the fourth quarter, fortunately from whatever injury it was, to at least hold on the extra point. They had one snap, remember earlier, go bad. This one's down, it's on the way, it is up, and it is good. And with seven and a half to go on our game, the lead now is down to 12, 1180 KLAY. Uh, I believe a 43-yarder with about 10 seconds to play in the game to tie that game at 26-26. That, the only... Uh, not the only blemish, but one of the blemishes in that 10-1-1 season in 1985 that saw PLU reach the uh, championship game. See how many people PLU puts up front as we expect a potential onside kick. Five people up there. Benedetti is going to kick away. High and deep. Barnett at his five. Kicks the catch up to the 10. Breaks to the near sideline. The 15 cuts inside at the 20. Stumbles his way to the 25 and out to the 28-yard line where he has stopped instructions from the coaching on Stanley. Again, we have not heard much from him here this afternoon. He comes wide right. Two back split offset to the right, and it's a handoff to the... No, it's a pitch to Barnett around the left side. He's got the 30, the 35, the 40-yard line as he slides forward for the first down as he picks up 12. At 
And Barber all come wide right. Tang is the lone setback. Pylan the tight end wide, lines up strong left on first and ten from their own 40. Hash mark left side. Six and a half to go in the game. POU up by two scores. Hand off to Tang on the draw to the 40. Breaks outside across the 50. Spins away from one defender across the Willamette. 45 down to the 43. And trips to the wide side, the right side of the field. And one receiver goes wide left. Wakely out of the shotgun on first down. Six and a half to go in the game. Getting pressure, throws the screen left side to Tang with a blocker in front of him. Has the 40 knocked out of bounds about two yards shy of the first down. That stopped the clock at the six. Backs are split behind the quarterback. Tight end Stanley lines up strong right. On second and short for the Lutes. Weekly under center. Snap, and he snapped it a second. Set him back to the 41. Down to our left for the POU off eye view of the playing surface, making the offensive selections. Aaron Tain comes wide right. Weekly out of the shotgun. Drops back. Fakes to the near side, throwing over the middle. He has his tight end. Stanley makes the catch across the 30 into the 29. And a PLU. 80 or 88. Nonetheless, it is a, P a score here would really cement the victory for PLU. Backs are split. Offset to the left. Now Barber, the fullback, in motion out of the backfield. Left to right to the near side. Handoff is to Barnett. Sweeping left. Cuts inside a block. Has the 20 and one man to stop him at the 20-yard line. Otherwise, he may have gone. 20 yard line, ball resting hash mark left side. Tang and Barnett both come wide right. Tang in the slot. Barber is the lone setback. Double tight end, strong left and right. Weekly under center with 440 left in the ball game. The fullback gets it. Barber straight up field, dives forward for the first down. With 723 to some up under center with two back split off set to the left and a wing to the left side is Barnett. Inside handoff, weekly fakes, back to throw, looks, he has a receiver, Barnett at the five, bounces off a defender, down to the three-yard line, and another PLU first down. Stays, but he certainly put in his drive. First and goal. Two tight end formation, strong left and right, wing to the right side, back split and offset, weekly handoff, the fullback, Barber fakes, gives it to Tang, Tang hit at the line of scrimmage, if he even got back there. And driven back, I think they're gonna stop his forward. But Blation, weekly under center, again, double tight end, left and right. Tang in motion out of the backfield. Fake to Barnett. Weekly running away from pressure to the near sideline. Looking for a receiver. Sets up throwing. It's deflected off of the hand of a defender at 248 mark. And for third and goal for PLU. And they will go with trips wide left. Weekly under center. Barber the fullback behind him. Fakes the handoff to Barber. Back to pass. Steps up now. Looking. Steps up. Throws. Touchdown. PLU. Kale Pipe. Mike, you said earlier on that other drive. In the middle of the end zone, and uh, Weekly put it right on the money for the six points. And Jamie Thomas, the busiest of all loots this afternoon with the extra point attempt. The snap, it's down, it's on the way, it is up, and it is no good. I think it was deflected at the line of scrimmage. It went wide left, and so our score on the Bearcats. Today left on the clock in which to play around with, and Jamie Thomas will tee it up at the 35. Most of his kicks have been, been short line drives taken by the up back, Cody Webster. Let's see what he does this time as he approaches the football, kicking left to right. Sends this one high and deep. And this will be Heinley at the goal line to the 5, the 10, 15, and hit and upended at the 20 yard line. One of what they come up to the line of scrimmage. Horner has receivers two left, one right, and the tight end is strong right with one setback. And obviously, Horner is back to pass. And throwing, finds Heinley open across the 30, hit, dropped at the 34. It is a between routes and protect against the big strike. Horner up under center with the no huddle offense. Two receivers left, one right. Tight end, strong right, one setback. And Horner was pulling away from center before the snap, but he got away with it. Meanwhile, the completion up to his tight end across the 45 to the 46 yard line is third of the 209 and counting in the ball game. Horner. With two receivers left and one right. That drops straight back. Looking far sideline. In and out of the hands of the intended receiver. And stops the clock. At they just uh, renamed the field portion of the stadium in honor of a former coach. Two receivers left and two backs split behind the quarterback. Horner on second down and ten. Fakes the handoff. Rolls a little bit to his right. Looking back over the middle. Now going deep to Pate. Down at the ten. Makes the catch and dropped it. At the last second, John Hamill came over. Got a hand in there. Be proud of the job he did out there today. 
Minute 51 to go. He drops back to pass. Straight back, getting pressure up the middle. Throws over the middle. Short hop. The tight end will come out. Fronts the lone setback. But without a tight end, there are four receivers. Two left and two right on fourth and ten from their own 47. Horner back to pass. Has time. Throws. It's almost intercepted. And then through the hands of side PLU. So that will give Willamette new Lamet coming into the tail that last week. But... Ten penalties again here this afternoon. Two receivers left, one right. Tight end strong left. Fourth and five. Horner under center with a minute 41 to go. Drops back, rolling a little to his left. Throwing, looking for Heaton. Makes the catch inside the 35 to the 34. Hamill on the stop. Trevor White there as well. They set two receivers. Wide right. Pate comes to the left side. Tight end is strong right on first and ten from the PLU. 34 hash mark left side again. Snap a little late coming out. Horner back to pass looking to Heaton over his head. Flag comes. We'll probably have holding coming up against. They need to get to the 24 for the first down. But uh, more significant uh, penalty certainly won't help them. Your Pacific Coca-Cola bottlers by Lutheran Brotherhood and your local Lutheran Brotherhood agents. Horner back to pass, throwing as he's hit, intercepted by the Lutes at the 41, it's Ted Riddell. The pressure from Albert Jackson forced the bad pass. Any jeopardy of uh, 48 to 30, just need to run out a minute, 13 seconds. Most of the other starters, though, remain in the ball game with the exception of the quarterback. Toss sweep right side, and this is Shapiro, and he runs it out of bounds, which is really, I think, the last thing you want in Tacoma. Shapiro goes wide left on second and nine. Two back split offset to the left. Corey Bure and Josh Rihue. And double tight ends left and right. Burkett is in as a tight end on the right side. They give it to Rihue straight up field. And he pushes the pile forward across the 45 to the 46 yard line. And make his way over to the... Shapiro is the wing to the left side. The backs are split and offset to the left behind the quarterback. Carl Hoseth on third and five for PLU. Takes the snap, toss sweep, left side to Beret. Cuts inside, did not get the first down. Picks up a couple, fumbled the football, picked up by the Bearcats down the far sideline. Touchdown, Willamette. And that is Lucas Jones who picked up the loose football on the bounce and returns it 40. I take a monument. James Scariot, who has a touchdown run to his credit. Under center on the two point conversion attempt from the three yard line. Horner. Long snap count. Rolls to his right, getting some pressure, throwing it in the back of the end zone. Scary, it was open, it was too far. Green, Burkett. And Benedetti has it teed up at the 35. This could make things interesting. He's going to onside kick to the near side, and Gavin Stanley comes up and recovers the football. Did that last time and uh, fumbled. Yes. The two backs are split and offset to the left. Behind quarterback, Hoseth with one receiver wide left, double tight end, handoff, Rike almost bobbled that handoff, but he does take it forward across the 40, down to the 39, picks up five, time as possible in the huddle. Seconds and counting. Hoseth standing up over center, now he wins under center. Brian Flatham with nine seconds, eight seconds, takes the snap, toss sweep left side to Corey Bure, Corey Bure upfield, cuts inside one block, looking for the outside corner, the 25, the 20, and pushed out of bounds with no time left on the clock, and will have it 36. You